Al-Qurashi was an early scientist of the Islamic Golden Age. He lived during a time when chemistry was still forming as a discipline. In his era, science was not separated into modern categories. Chemistry, medicine, and experimentation were closely connected. Al-Qurashi is remembered as a chemist and alchemist, but his work went far beyond mystical ideas. He focused on observation, testing, and practical results. This approach helped transform alchemy into early chemistry. He studied substances found in nature. He examined minerals, metals, salts, and liquids. He experimented with heating, cooling, dissolving, and purifying materials. His goal was to understand how substances change and how they can be controlled. al qurashi described laboratory techniques that later became standard in chemistry. These included filtration, distillation, crystallization, and evaporation. These methods allowed scientists to separate materials and study them more accurately. He also worked with chemical compounds used in medicine. Some substances were used to clean wounds. Others were used to prepare remedies and treatments. His work helped connect chemistry with early medical practice. Unlike earlier alchemists, al qurashi emphasized repeatable experiments. He believed results should be tested again and again. This mindset was an early form of the scientific method. It showed a shift from speculation to evidence. al qurashis writings influenced later Muslim chemists. They also reached Europe through translations centuries later. Many early European chemists adopted laboratory techniques that came from Islamic scholars like him. During his time, scientific centers in the Muslim world supported experimentation. Libraries preserved scientific texts. Scholars shared knowledge across regions. This environment allowed chemistry to grow as a real science. Over time, many of al qurashis original works were lost. Fires, wars, and political collapse destroyed libraries. Because of this, his name became less known than other scientists. But his methods survived through the scholars he influenced. al qurashi represents a crucial step in scientific history. He helped move chemistry away from symbolism and toward experimentation. Today, modern chemistry still uses principles that early chemists developed. Laboratory methods, purification techniques, and experimental discipline all trace back to this period. al qurashi was one of the people who helped lay that foundation. His story reminds us that science did not begin in one place or one era. It was built gradually by many forgotten minds. al qurashi was one of those minds, quiet, methodical, and essential,